This is going to be our last video on trig identities and also our last video on trigonometry altogether. Okay, so this is talking about the product and difference of angles. So there are about eight formulas here that I'm not going to go through just because it would take forever for me to say them and it would make it would just be gibberish me saying sine A cos B, etc, etc. But you can have a look at them here. So if you have sine multiplied by a cos, cos by a sine, cos by cos and sine by sine, all the differences that makes. And then as well, if you want to have sine A plus B, sine A minus B, Sorry, sine of a minus plus sine of b, sine of a minus sine of b, cos of a plus cos of b, cos of a minus kind of cos of b, and all of the differences that makes there. Okay, so all that happens is if they ask you to write something as a product or a difference of sines and cosines, then you just skip the formula and tables book, look up whichever one uh, is relevant, and use it because it's too difficult to do it otherwise. To, you can't memorize them, and that's all they really ask. Th this is the one. These are the, the trigonometric identities that get asked the least without a doubt, so don't be super worried about them. Uh, all it is really is just using the formula. So we're gonna do two quick examples. So I'll go down, I'll go orange. First example wants us to, so write as a difference. So they want, so that's difference, uh, my terrible handwriting, but they want us to write two cos three x sine x as a difference okay so we're gonna have to go up to the dark blue ones so we want to turn something like this into a difference so we have cause of something sine of something so we're going to use this one here so two cause a sine b so i'm going to write that down i'm going to have so two cause a sine b and that's equal to sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b okay so that means i'll go green to cause 3x sine of x is equal to sine so a in this case is 3x plus b in this case is x minus sine of now it's 3x minus x so it's a plus b a minus b so 3x plus x 3x minus x so then our answer will be sine of 4x so 3x plus x is 4x minus 3x minus x is sine of 2x and that's our answer that's all there is to it so it's just using the formulas really um i've run out of space we're just going to do one more example i'll just move over to the side um, and we'll go purple. This time it's right as a product. Product. Um, and they want us to write cos 5a plus cos 3a. They want us to turn that into a product. So a product means two things multiplied by each other. So we're going to look for the cos of a plus cos of b. This one here, I have to write that formula out. So I'll do that in uh, red. So cos of A plus cos of B is equal to, so it's 2 cos A plus B over 2 multiplied by cos of A, well, no minus b over 2. Okay, so again, that's it's just getting it from the formula book and plugging these values in. So 2 cos 5a plus 3a divided by 2 by cos 5a minus 3a divided by 2. So I won't have enough space to... Sorry, my rap, laptop was just on low battery there. So I won't have space to do this to write it all out, but uh, this is going to be 5a plus 3a, that's going to be 8a, and if you divide 8 by 2, you're going to be left with 4a, and then this is going to be 5a minus 3a, which will be 2a, divided by 2, we'll just be left with a, so our final answer is going to be 2 cos 4a cos of a, okay, and that's what our answer is, so this cos 5a plus cos 3a is the same as 2 cos 4a cos a, so that's all there really is to it, to 
those ones anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the videos on trigonometry. That's all there is. We're going to have some hopefully exam question videos as well. Uh, so you can try the exam questions and if you can't get them, you can have a look at the videos. So I hope you enjoyed them anyway. I'll see you in the next playlist for the next topic.